Hello all, I am Siddharth Kaul and I welcome you to Edupedia World. This is a tutorial video where I am going to show how to create a very simple Simulink model. So this is what we are going to create. So we are going to have a sine wave, we are going to have an integrator and we are going to have a scope. So basically in the scope we will see a sine wave and the integration of a sine wave that is a cosine wave. I am going to show how to do this simulation. So before I move to that, we will see how our results look like. So I am going to play the simulation and I am going to open the scope. So as you can see, the first graph that you are seeing is the sine wave and the second graph you are seeing is the integration of the sine wave. So let's get started. So I'm going to start by opening a new model. So for that I'm going to close this model. I'm going to click no. Close the Simulink library browser. I'm going to alter file new model. A new model window untitled will be opened. So this is where we are going to create our model. Now I am going to open the Simulink library browser. So uh, library browser, by clicking on the library browser we are going to open the Simulink library browser. So as you can see it populates all the library available libraries in our system. So we can see we have Simulink library, we have different block sets, we have different toolboxes, we have Simulink power system, Simscapes and all the stuff. So now one one I am going to add the blocks. So there are two ways of adding the blocks. Either you go to the exact place that you know that block will be available and add the block or you can search in the library browser by the name of the block. So I'm going to search for integer. So as you can see all the block named integrators are populated and it also shows which library it belongs. So I'm going to take an integrator from the Simulink library. So I'm going to add it to our model. Now we need a scope. So again I will go to library browser and I'm going to search for scope. It's going to populate all the scopes available in the Simulink. So I'm going to pick one from the Simulink library browser. So now I have populated all Put, pulled all my blocks into my model. Now I'm going to arrange them. So basically each block removed can be resized however we want. Now we need to make connections between these blocks. Connection making is extremely easy. We just click on the block and drag it and click on the point where we want to drop it. That's it. If we have to create a branch from a line we press down the control key and we click on the line and we drag and drop to where we want to connect. Now as you can see the scope only had one input. So where, where I am going to connect the integrator input. So I need two inputs in the scope. So for that purpose I am going to go into the scope properties. So to op go into the scope we will double click on the scope. And double clicking on the scope will open the scope window this I am going into parameters and inside the parameters I am going to put number of axes as 2. What this means is there will be two plots in the same scope window. Now I am going to close the window. As you can see a second input has occurred uh, has been created in the scope window. So I am going to connect the output of the integrator with this input. So now our connection is complete. Let's see some parameters available in these blocks. So I'm going to double click on the sign, open the parameter window. So you can see source block parameter sine wave is uh, open, uh, dialog box is open. Here you can see the output is amplitude into sine, frequency into time plus phase plus bias. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep frequency as 1 and I'm going to click OK. Similarly, if you double click the integrator, you will see the integrator block parameters. 
So I'm going to keep it default. And I'm going to click OK. Now I'm going to add a comment in this. So the, to add a comment, we'll double click anywhere in the Simulink and we will add a comment. I will write a simple Simulink model and hence a comment is added. We can resize this comment by going to format, font, we will get an option of selecting the font, the font style and the font size. So I'm going to select a font size of 20 and click OK. So our font ha has been resized. So now I'm going to configure my simulation parameter. So for that I'm going to simulation configure parameters. Our parameter configuration window will open. So in this I'm going to select on solver and put start time as 0, stop time as 10. I will put a wave step and a simple 45 uh, OD45 as a solver and I will click OK. The rest of the things I will keep as default. Now our simulation is ready for execution. So we are going to run the simulation now. I am going to start the simulation. So it will be compiled and it will be executed. Now we, we can see the result in the scope. So by double clicking on the scope, our two axes will open and we can observe result. So as you can see the first graph shows the sine wave that is our source and the second graph shows our integrated sine wave that is a cosine. So this is how we create a simple Simulink model. I'll be taking more tutorials but for now I'm going to conclude this video. So for more tutorials please stay tuned, subscribe and thanks for watching.